in the week that she was there, they signed three deals, which is awesome. I and mean, that, that's, that's, that's huge. I mean, for, for him to get three deals in the week that she's there, that's great. Like we talked about earlier, it's, it's easy just having a conversation. But people think it's scary to call someone to, to try and introduce them to, to the, the service that they want to provide. When you, when you talk to someone that is not happy with their cleaning, and you can provide them a solution that's gonna solve their problem, you're making their life better. So you were saying before at the beginning that you guys do things differently than a lot of uh, the other cleaning franchises. So t- tell us about that. What What's different about you guys and the way that you do things? So the, the, the main difference is the training program that we put our franchise owners through. Uh, most, most of the janitorial franchises that are out there um, really expect the, the, the franchisee to, to always be in the role of, of cleaner. You know, a, a lot of them, they're selling them a job. And uh, the, that's not what we want to do. We, we want them to have a business. So we train them in everything. We train them in sales. We train them in operations. We train them in how to hire people and how to fire people. Um, we work with them um, both in, in the corporate setting at our office, bring them out in the field to do actual hands-on cleaning with them. Um, and then after the, that first week of training at our office, which is a, it's a full week, it's, you know, it could be, it's at least 40 hours, sometimes it's 50 or 60 hours because they'll go out with the franchise owners in the evening and uh, learn about how they run their crews and the cleaning and so on. Um, but after that, we schedule a week of, of training in their market. And so one of the business development managers goes to their market and walks with them and cold calls with them and jo- goes to the chamber and uh, joins the chamber with them and gets them into a networking group so they can start doing the things that they need to do to grow their business. Um, so they, uh, Maggie, who, who operates, um, our, or she's running our business development team, um, she, she went down to uh, Fort Worth uh, just a few weeks ago, brand new franchise owner down there that had just finished his training in Chicago right at the end of the year last year. She got down there uh, with him um, a few weeks ago, and in the week that she was there, they signed three deals, which is awesome. I mean, that, that's 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 huge. I mean, for for him to get three deals in the week that she's there, that's great. Um, but that way, she you know you can see firsthand what the sales process is, you know what what the objections are, how to overcome those, because um, you're just shadowing someone that already knows how to do it. And um, so I think that's really what what. Is, is the key difference that sets us apart is that, that training program. Uh, because then we send the same business development manager back there again a month later and spend another week, um, again, in, in either sales or operations, whichever the franchise owner prefers or, or is in need of. And um, the other janitorial franchises don't, they don't do that. Um, the other thing that, that completely sets us apart is we've got a phone room in the, um, in the office in, in, in our Chicago headquarters. Um, and that phone room dials for every franchise owner. They'll set appointments for them um, because we know that the telephone is like a 500 pound receiver. It's, it's hard to pick that thing up and make those outbound calls. Um, you know, it, it, I don't know why, because people are on the phone all the time. But like we talked about earlier, it's, it's easy just having a conversation. But people think it's scary to call someone to, to try and introduce them to, to the, the service that they want to provide. And they shouldn't be because, you know, the, when you when you talk to someone that is not happy with their cleaning and you can provide them a solution that's going to solve their problem, you're making their life better. So you shouldn't be afraid to pick up the phone, but people still are. So we have a phone room that dials and, and sets those appointments and, and manages those leads uh, for the franchise owners. So then they've got the appointment set. They just need to go out and run it. And um, then it's up to them to close the deal, but we're giving them th- that support. And that's, that's huge. That's probably, um, I think that's the biggest thing that we hear from our franchise owners is we love the fact that you set the appointments for us. You know, we, we want more, you know, give us more. We want, we want to continue to grow the business and um, uh, you know, get better at their closing and um, just continue to grow.